Hello, this is Fastec. Prior to the detailed product description, let me briefly introduce the Fastec EtherCat product line. Here is a brand called Easy Servo. Easy Servo is a closed loop stepping system product line. And there is a brand called EZ Step. EZ Step is an open loop micro stepping system product line. Lastly, the brand Easy IO is an IO module product line, including digital IO module, analog IO module, and counter module. So, Fastec EtherCat product line has the Easy Servo brand of the closed loop stepping system, the Easy Step brand of the open loop micro stepping system, and the Easy IO brand of the IO module. Let's take a look at each product brand one by one. First, Easy Servo brand. Easy Servo brand has five products, including Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat, a standard type of closed loop stepping system, Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini, a mini drive type, the 4 axis drive type Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat 4X and the 8 axis drive type Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat 8X. And Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat All. An all in one type that combines a motor, a high resolution encoder, a drive, and Ether Cat network. Next, EZ Step brand. EZ Step brand has three products including EZ Step 2 Ether Cat, a standard type of open loop micro stepping system, EZ Step 2 Ether Cat Mini, a mini drive type, and EZ Step 2 Ether Cat 4X, a 4 axis drive type. Finally, EZ IO brand. Easy I.O. brand has three products including digital I.O. module, analog I.O. module, and counter module. So, Fastec has a total of 11 EtherCAT products. Since there are various types of products, Fastec can provide EtherCAT total solutions. Among 11 types of products, I'd like to introduce the mini type of closed loop stepping system. Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini. First of all, I will explain the combination model name of Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini product. In the example model name, EC means the product using the EtherCAT network, and MI stands for Mini, which means a mini size drive product. 42 means 42 mm motor flange size, and XL means motor length. A, means a product with 10,000 PPR encoder applied. BK means that a brake is attached on the motor, and PN05 means that a planetary gearbox is attached on the motor. You can select the motor from NEMA 8, 20 mm size motor to NEMA 24, 60 mm size motor. Motor length is the length of the motor body excluding the motor shaft and you can select small, medium, large, and extra large length. The length you can select depends on the motor size. The encoder resolution can also be selected as shown in the table. Gearbox and brake specifications are also available. Gearboxes are planetary gearboxes, and gear ratio can be selected as shown in the table. The brake is a non-excitation type that activates when the power goes off. For example, you can use it to prevent the Z-axis load from falling. Please refer to the catalog for details. Next, let's check the features of Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini products. Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini is an EtherCAT-based closed-loop stepping system product. Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini can be installed in a narrow space using a compact drive, so you can save space. The size of Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini drive is 1 over 3 the size of the Ether Cat standard type drive. The size is similar to the size of a business card. Also, Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini's compact size allows direct installation on the robot. 
So, wiring can be reduced. Thus, you can save space and the wiring would be simple. Space saving and less wiring can reduce cost. Actual examples will be explained later. Next, it supports CIA402 drive profile, a standard profile for drive motion control. It supports CSP mode that controls the position of the slave, by receiving the target position from the master every cycle and profile position mode, which is a general point-to-point -point movement command, and homing mode, which is an origin search command. Also, the minimum cycle time is 0.25 milliseconds. The cycle time is the time required, for communication between the master and the slave. And the minimum cycle time is the time it takes for the slave to receive, process, and respond to a packet. In general, the minimum cycle time of stepping motor drives on the market is 0.5 milliseconds, but Fastex product has a shorter minimum cycle time of 0.25 milliseconds. Then, why is the minimum cycle time important? For example, in synchronous control, if the cycle time is short, smooth and high precision control is possible. But if the cycle time is long, smooth operation is not possible. Depending on the requirements of the machine, stepping motors and servo motors are often used together. In this case, the cycle time should be used in accordance with the longer one. For example, even if the minimum cycle time of the master and the servo drive is 0.25 milliseconds. If the cycle time of the step drive is 0.5 milliseconds, the minimum cycle time should be 0.5 milliseconds. Therefore, many companies are trying to reduce the minimum cycle time for high precision motion control. Next, Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini is compatible with various EtherCAT Master controllers. These are Fastex EtherCAT products listed on the EtherCAT Technology Group, the world's largest EtherCAT organization. If you access the official site of ETG with this address and search Fastex, you can see that Fastex four types of EtherCAT slave products are on the list. The rest of the EtherCAT products will be updated in the future. ETG, the Worldwide EtherCAT Association, was founded in Germany by Beckhoff, the creator of EtherCAT. Fastec has received compatibility verification at ETC, the EtherCAT Test Center, which is an affiliate of ETG, and verifies the compatibility of EtherCAT products. Currently, only Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT, the standard type product has received official compatibility certification. But the functions based on this compatibility certification have been applied to Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini products. As you checked before, although Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT has completed the compatibility verification and received the official certification, it doesn't prove the compatibility with each manufacturer's EtherCAT master. Thus, in cooperation with Fastec and the major EtherCAT master companies, compatibility verification between master and slave based on CIA402, a standard profile for EtherCAT drive motion control, has been completed, which is a distinctive feature of Fastec EtherCAT products. By the compatibility test with each master company, the connection method and the operation of the EtherCAT function with various masters were verified. The verification results I mentioned before are summarized in a table. These are conformance test reports and connection manuals for each master. The demonstration of Fastec EtherCAT products was delivered to each master company and the master company directly conducted the conformance test. In the case of the conformance test report, it was written after verifying the normal operation of Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT based on CIA 402 with each master. 
The connection manual contains the ESI file registration method, and master and slave connection method. First, here's the example of the actual conformance test report. This is a report written after testing the Fastec Ether Cat Slave by a master company called Trio Motion Technology in the UK. Each evaluation item applied to the test was taken directly from the CIA402 drive profile, which is a standard profile for drive motion control. For example, if you look at this part, you can check the test items for drive status control, operation enable, operation disable and error codes of CIA402 drive profile. Tests were conducted for each evaluation item, and this is the result. Therefore, if this conformance test report is delivered to customers using the Trio Master, they can use Fastec Ether Cat products without worrying about compatibility. If you need these compatibility test reports, please contact Fastec Customer Center with this phone number, or sales at fastec-motions.com and we will send you the report. Next, let's look at the connection manual example. This is the connection manual for MC4N, the Ether Cat Master of Trio and Fastec Ether Cat Slave. The connection manual contains the ESI file registration method, and master and slave connection method. If you set the connection according to this manual, you can connect the master and slave easily and without problems, and without reading the connection manual of the master. And, EtherCAT connection manual with each master can be downloaded from Fastec website. If you access the following address and place the mouse pointer on the Downloads tab of the homepage, an item called Quick Download appears. Click on the item to display a list of products. Click the Network Manual button of the Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini product among the products in the list to download the connection manual for each master. The manual of Trio's MC4N master, which I said as an example earlier, can also be downloaded here. Also, a high-resolution encoder is attached to enable precise position control. It depends on the motor size, but up to 20,000 PPR resolution encoders can be used. Due to the characteristic of the stepping motor, it does not require a separate gain tuning, which can reduce maintenance effort. For example, you can just power on the motor and operate it without gain tuning. Since the holding torque is large, there is no vibration after stopping compared to the servo. In general, when controlling a stepping motor, motor heat is a problem because the maximum current flows regardless of the load, but since Easy Servo controls the current according to the load like a servo, it can relatively suppress heat generation compared to the conventional stepping motors. So far, we have looked at the features of Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini. In the next chapter, among the features introduced earlier, we will introduce an example of space, wiring, cost reduce by mini type drive, which is the most differentiated feature of mini products through video. First, to explain space savings, wiring savings, and cost reduction, I will show you a 7-axis robot as an example. In general, to operate 7 motors installed to a robot, 7 motor cables, 7 encoder cabled are needed. There were a lot of wires because a total of 14 cables had to be connected to the drive installed in the control box. In addition, a separate control box for the drive was required, taking up space. If it is replaced with the Mini Drive Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini and Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT All, a motor, high-resolution encoder, drive and ether cat network all in one product. As a result, space saving and less wiring are possible. The product names used in this demonstration are as follows. 
First, because the mini drive is small and lightweight, it can be installed directly on the robot body. Of the 7 axis, Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini is applied to both the hollow and gripper axis. Therefore, the distance between the motor and the drive is very short, so it is possible to wire the motor cable and encoder cable very short. Let's look at the Minitype Drive Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Minis part more closely. The drive connected to the hollow shaft motor is attached directly to this part, and the drive applied to the gripper shaft is attached directly to this part. This is the part applied to the gripper axis. The encoder cable is connected like this, and the motor cable is connected like this. You can check that the cable wiring is short because the distance between the motor and the drive is close. In addition, there is no need to wire a motor and an encoder because an easy servo 2 ether cat all. An all-in-one product that combines a motor, high-resolution encoder, drive and ether cat network, is applied to 5 out of 7 axes. Therefore, when using the Mini Drive Easy Servo 2 Ether Cat Mini and the all-in-one drive motor, there is no need for a separate control box. The actual wiring is only one Ether Cat communication line from the Ether Cat Master and a 24 volt power line. In conclusion, since the cable wiring is reduced, there is a great effect of reducing the cost and preventing malfunction due to wiring. For reference, recently, the size of smartphone-related equipment is small and there are many motors. So wiring and space are becoming more important. Finally, I will explain another case applied in actual machine. If you look at the picture, a total of 16 axes are applied. When using existing standard drives, a separate space was required for the drive installation. In addition, because the size of the drive was large, it was not possible to install the drive close to the motor. The cable length from the drive to the motor is long, making wiring complicated. From each drive, 16 motor cables and 16 encoder cables are connected, so a total of 32 cable bundles must be wired on the motor side. If you look at the photo on the right, 12 axis of mini drive are applied to the machine. In this case, the distance between the motor and the drive is so close that the cable length is shortened. So there is no need for a separate space for drive installation as in the left. Therefore, the cable length is shortened and wiring is reduced, which can result in cost reduction.